this young lady here to my right. I've seen her, heard of her, wonderful. You're in for a treat tonight. She is uh, very angelic, to say the least. But anyway, uh, Miss Shakina Rose is a peace emissary and a channel of the blue ray. Okay, angelic messenger, harmonic vocalist for the language of light. I mean, it's all light and sound, right folks? Um, what else? In the 528 hertz, miracles and love. So, star race, uh, races contactee, author and healer, creator of the Palladian Stargate pendant, and devices and sacred technologies. So without further ado, here is Ms. Shakina Rose. incredible time, this cosmic alignment, and we're in very powerful times right now. Uh, the planetary alignment where all the planets are on one side, we're in between uh, the eclipses. And so your presence is really important and very significant right here as an emissary. And I'm Shakina Rose, and I'm an angelic star star and, and blue ray, and I'm a channel for the Blu-ray and was downloaded that I was from the Blu-ray in 2008. And I started bringing forth the information for the Blu-ray and past star seeds of the planet and for the star seeds. And we do this, the, the Blu-rays work to the mother frequency, the divine mother's frequency. And I also bring forth information, ascension shift information you know, for all of the star seeds as a very attuned, um, as an intuitive empath, starseed. And how I'd like to start is through my lineage and is through the language of light, because I am the singer of the language of light and through the crystal tones. So I'd like to create a harmonic residency field <clears throat> because you're here for that, for that energetic shift.
thank you for your for your resonance as the language of light singer I only sing at the time of a transmission and for us for the souls how we are connecting and for the earth so it is a, always a one-time transmission the reason why I sing in the language of light is I had a near-death experience and when I went to the light and back I became awakened I guess remembered attuned to the frequencies to the music of the spheres to uh, the, the planets and when I was in the light the only reason that I came back to this planet was to sing in those tones. I was ready to, 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 to cross over. I remember I went straight to the light. I wavered back and forth uh, during the near-death experience. My body kind of was coming back and forth. But I went straight, straight to the light. And I was on the edge of the light. And I could also see the seven heavens. I was told there were seven heavens, and I, it's, it's like I could look down and see that there were seven heavens. And I was right there at the light. And I communicated with the light. And I could do whatever I wanted. The light wasn't telling me that I had to go back. It was, it was my choice. But after experiencing it, almost, I almost took that, that awakening and remembrance of, of heaven, of the light, of the frequency. Something in my, my, my heart and my soul just awakened. And before I took that step, I said, I want to sing the language of light. <laughs> And I pump it back down to my body. And after I started singing in this way, this language, this song, and before then, I would never sing. I never sang ever. I would never open my mouth to sing. So, uh, something about that was just off limits. But this, this seemed different. This seemed that it, it came from a different place. It was, I wasn't singing a song. I was bringing forth a source, a frequency, a transmission that was always one time. And I did put out the energy, I did put out song, and science did find me. And they analyzed my vocals. And they found all these frequencies in my vocals. And one of the frequencies is the six pure tonal notes of creation, the ancient Sophia scale. Some of you may know that. And one of those uh, frequencies is the 528 miracle love and DNA repair. They found many frequencies. Many they said they just weren't found yet. I feel like that's our DNA. They just, well they say it's junk DNA, that they just haven't found it out yet. I'm sharing now about some of more of the frequencies because I feel that we're now in an attunement to those frequencies and we're ready to work with those frequencies and those frequencies are coming back on the planet. And I feel that because of the internet and I feel that because of, because of the crystals that have manifested from Sedona. And one of the frequencies, some of the frequencies that were found in my voice was the mathematical equation of creation. And you may know a little bit more now about Marco Rodin. He is a scientist. And Marco Rodin discovered this vortex math, the secret about the three, six, and nine, the Rodin coil. This circle with its hidden number sequence was the symbol of enlightenment. This is the mathematical fingerprint of God. Apparently, Marco Rodin has discovered the source 
of the non-decaying spin of the electron. Although science knows that all electrons in the universe spin, they have now discovered the source of the spin. Rodden has discovered the underlying geometry of the universe, the fabric of time itself. So I share that with you because we're in this space and how the frequencies are now being revealed. We're being revealed in the crystalline structure, time itself, the shifting of time-space. I certainly have been experiencing, especially the last year, I've been hearing from many people of how we are um, experiencing this time shift this interdimensional time where we come in and out of time. And this is important. Sometimes it can be a little unnerving, but this is also part of, I feel, with the Shabbalas, when the Shabbalas came, part of our eternal life codes, being able to turn those back on because I feel and I know that that is a part of the blueprint, our divine original blueprint. That is part of what I'm here to do, is to bring these, to sing in these frequencies and to help our cellular remembrance to awaken. I had a very significant experience in October of 2016. And I had a group of beings come and see me that I call the Shabbalas. And these ascended Shambhala beings came physically to me. And even the way that they presented themselves to me showed me so much about like who we are. I wasn't expecting them, and I, I never expect these, these beings when they come, and I'm like, goddess, I wish they would, they would let me know, I wish they'd give me a text or something to let me know, because it's, it's, it's extraordinary, and I would have been a lot more prepared. But six of these beings showed up physically to me, and how they did this is each one came up to me and gave me like a presence. And as a Blu-ray sensitive altered path, speaking is not my first language. Um, it's probably my third, at least. I've learned in some way how to communicate here. But I, I, I'm very attuned to speak empathically and telepathically. And usually these beings that will um, show up and we will have a connection and relationship will speak telepathically to me. These particular ones, these beings, first of all, they didn't say their name. And what I've also found about these very powerful encounters that I have had with these ascended galactic beings Normally, they do not come to me and say, hey, you know, I'm a galactic master of the ascended master race being, and I am Shambhala, Shambhala man, and I'm from this place. They, they never do that. And I've, I've under, come to an understanding, a much more of an understanding about, about humans and how we are and how they are because we so want, we want to know their name, we want to know where they're from. They don't present themselves that way. Instead, they came to me and gave me a presence. They stood in front of me, these radiant beings. And we experienced, I experienced them and their radiance without words. It was uh, beyond words. But there was information and there was awakening. And we were experiencing each other and awakening each other. And it was 
extremely beautiful to be in their presence because they had such acceptance and complete love. There wasn't anything except for complete love. And we were able to share like fully our essence. And in that, so much awakening happened. And there wasn't issues of, of words or intentions. It was a whole experience. And these beings were so, today has been such a really powerful day and I, I was hoping that, uh, that I wouldn't cry or get too emotional because it is so powerful today. And, and also because because the being that I am, a lot of times when I, when I share about this, I'm not speaking from my head. I'm not just talking about something I remember. I'm starting to experience that presence again, that frequency, that imprint, I can experience it again. These beings were beautiful and radiant and there were men, and there were women, and some of them had, not all of them, but some of them had beautiful um, jewels in their headpieces. Some, some of them had beautiful jewels that they were wearing. And the one being had, um, it was just like this, it was incredible, had long white hair and radiant, and I knew that this being was very old. Very old. I mean, at least 300, 400 years old, or maybe more. But they looked, the men, the men did not look older than about 30, about 30 years old. And we, had a relationship. Anytime the beings will come, we will um, have a relationship for many years and we will work together. And they actually showed me this um, Ajo Marina color. And I was just getting ready to um, make an order to Israel and they showed this to me. So the next day I ordered this. And so I created like a whole line with them of connection to, to the sh Shambhalas. And I understand about how this, how the Swarsi crystals has different light frequencies as to the gem and minerals. And the reason why that I am describing these beautiful beings, and they look like this. Is because this is who we are. They were radiating to me our divine original blueprint, the aspect of that which we are. And that's why I share that so profoundly, because it really affected me, not because they're, they are just these wonderful Shambhala beings and they're over here. This is what I believe truly in my heart. We have that lineage. This is part of our lineage. And this is part of our awakening. And each one of us is bringing forth a different aspect. So we worked together for many years, and there was one being, and they were very white complected. So this is part of our a divine original blueprint that is um, of, of the white ascended master lineage, and the eternal life codes and. Um, and health and radiance and frequency. But there was one at the very end that was a little different, and he was a cross between um, a Mayan and a Native American. And uh, he, we worked together for quite some time, and that he was part of this group, but apparently um, his planet had already ascended, and so there's we're, we're receiving like a lot, a lot, a lot of help. And, and all of you know that all of you are so connected. Um, you come to Sedona with a powerful mission and you are so empowered in the vortex for that. 
and this being came from like a, a very green planet, very tropical, and that was ascended. And so we're, we're receiving a lot of assistance. So I worked with them for, for quite some time, and I, and I made, the, made the jewelry. I made the Stargate, the Pleiadian Stargate pendants. And the reason why I make those is because I never did that before, like the singing, but I had a contact experience on the 1111 with a ship out here at Cathedral. And once that happened, and I made that contact with them on the 1111, something happened to me, and the, the realms, just like this, just opened up, and continuous blueprints of downloads just kept one after the next, after the next. It's clear as day, it's clear as day. Very powerful, very intense, and it didn't stop until I started creating the technologies. The Metatron Star Gate Disc out of copper, the um, Seraphim DNA Recalibrator. I had to make those. I didn't know how to make them, but I just did. And thank Goddess, because that energy started to slow down a bit. And the thing about that is that there are different ways. And I really work with the Sacred Divine Feminine. And there are so many ways that we are connecting and we are um, bringing this planet to a higher frequency and we're bringing things upon the planet and we're having what we're, we're calling this disclosure. Because these blueprints of City of Lights, our DNA, just one amazing blueprint after the next, extraordinary, just kept flooding in. And I wouldn't stop it. And I, but it was a, a bit intense for me at the time to handle. And I didn't stop it because a, a part of me knew this is a way. This is a way for this energy to come on the planet through me, through you. So there's so many ways, there's so many derivatives of what's happening as how we're creating and doing this frequency and bringing this forth. The Ascended Masters, I call them the Shambhalas, they also showed me a uh, movie. And what they did is they took this movie and it was like, it was in black and white. And it was like an old-fashioned kind of movie where it had those little white things as the film went down. This was like a long time ago, probably back in the 60s, I don't know. And uh, it was like this old-fashioned movie and they, they showed me things. Now again, this is very typical when there is a, a galactic uh, ET or extraterrestrial or ascended being uh, uh, encounter. A lot of times they'll show you they'll show you movies, and they'll show you different things. Uh, sometimes they've shown movies to different people of um, the Earth uh, in not a good way, wars and all kinds of uh, calamities. The reason they're showing that to that person is that so that they will act, because the beings never tell me what to do. What they do is they always come to me as as an equal, we're equals, as an ascended being. And they show me this information so that I'll be inspired, hopefully, and prompted to do something. So what I saw was this movie of these beings, other beings that are in the earth, and they are working with this to, to create, they're creating already, they're, cre they're creating this frequency disturbance. And the earth, they show me that. Now prior to this, now I believe that they're showing me this because I work with frequency. And I've been able to hear these frequencies prior, I've been able to hear these frequencies when I first came to Sedona, I couldn't believe it. When I first came to Sedona, other people weren't hearing this. I was hearing this loud sound. It was so loud when I first came here. 
And then sometimes years, I'll hear this loud sound, and other people aren't hearing it. And I can't believe it, because it is so loud. And some years, I won't even hear it. A whole year will go by. It's, uh, it's like a, no, it's like mechanical. And every time I hear it, something happens. It's, yeah, it's like, it's like, um, I'm gonna try. I probably can't do it, but it's like, it's like, it vacillates, it gets, and it's like, and it's like, yeah, it's like, and it's like oh, gosh, stop already. And, um, and then, but then I'll notice every time things, yeah, I can hear it. Well, and, and I'm on the land every day. I didn't, I didn't mention that, but I, I wear a dress and I, I have crystal hair, but I'm in the land every day. My, my best, my, my, my dear friends know, it's like, I just go in the land every day. I get out there. I just, I have to be with her and I got to be out. So I'm out with her. And somehow I think being out there and making that exchange, I'm just more receptive to, to these frequencies. There's a reason why I'm sharing this. I haven't shared this as of yet since 2016 because I really didn't know what to do. Um, they showed me the disruption of the frequencies, but what I see happening, there, it's a, there's a good thing, there's a good thing, because the crystal are here and the, and, the, and the other frequency is happening, is an intensity of these frequencies. There is an increase in suicides. Like, why is there an increase in all kinds of stuff? And I don't even, I don't even, I don't even know because I don't do the news, but I do find out. And some people even hear this frequency, like particular, the frequency, in different ways, like some stuff. So I'm, I, I'm telling you this for a reason, to let you know that that is happening, that there is disturbance trying to disturb our source connection, trying to disturb our source connection. So it's in the, I saw it in the earth, and they showed me in the sky. And these things, these devices, and I'm not gonna name the beings, not like this publicly. I will uh, personally um, tell you more if you'd like. But I don't want to say it publicly. I know a lot of people do and say things, but I just don't want to. Um, so I was shown this to inspire me and prompt me and to help me to understand about the frequency. And it's almost like the key is the frequency. That's what I feel. It's like the frequency, being able to tune into that frequency. What has happened also this year is amazing. Now I love, I love crystals. I love gems and I love minerals. And this year, the, the crystals of Sedona are speaking to me and the Universal City of Light has come to me. And I've been, I've been going to this one place on the land and the crystals started to manifest. Now I was on the mountain where I go, because I gotta go every day, I'm on the mountain. And I was sitting on the mountain, and, and there's nobody there, because I can see the road. There's nobody there, except for me and my little car, gravel road. And someone comes over the mountain, <laughs> so, someone comes over the mountain and says, hey, you know, there's crystals here. You wanna see them? And that's how he said. I'm like, yes. <laughs> and so this person took me up, up the mountain. So I went up to this, this place and holy goddess, the crystals. I just, and I kept going back there and back there and the crystals kept started manifesting and manifesting. And I would go up there and the sun would come up. There was this one day, it was uh, January, no, February. And so it was like, it could have been even like, it was snowing that day or something, and then, but it got nice, 
and it was an overcast day, and I remember I, and I had to go out there, I had to be with the crystals, I had to be on the mountain. I went up on the mountain, and I'm walking up, I'm walking up the mountain, and I just stop, and like something happened to me. First of all, there's like a little tear comes out of my eye, and this energy like goes up through my entire body, and it was like a light force of light went through, like enlightened all the cells in my body. And I felt like so happy to be alive. <laughs> Home frequency. And at that all in that moment, all of a sudden there was this beam of light that comes out, just a little beam, out of the out of the out of the clouds, comes down, there it is. Just just so that I could see that there's a, this beautiful crystals and they're sparkling at me. I mean <laughs> right at my feet. And I looked down and I'm like, oh it up. The crystals, it's, they're crystals. We are, this whole place is Crystal City. I'm in the rocks. I mean, in the rocks, there's like crystals, 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 crystals. These crystals started communicating with me in a portal. Energy, light, they were communicating with me. They are here from what I know. They're being awakened now. Our crystalline structure is being more awakened than ever. And the divine holy matrix. And these crystals from Atlantis, I was never connected to Atlantis, but I am connected now. And re I remember Atlantis. These have an origin of Atlantis, and we have come back from Atlantis to do this work. These crystals, the whole entire grid of Gaia is being lit up, and we, you are the directors, and so you have a program to do. And what I know is that why this is happening, and, wh and this is why I feel why the, the Shambhalas came to see me and to, to show me this, and to prompt me, not tell me what to do, but to prompt me. And then the crystals manifested for the source field resonator, because of the internet. Now, I always knew about the internet. I knew about that internet, and I didn't, I wouldn't want to touch that computer for probably a year before I had it, because I knew what the internet was. The internet, okay, this come, and this, everything comes from my lineage. So please believe what is true to yourself. This comes from my lineage, this comes from the Blu-ray, this comes from my understanding. I feel that the internet is a simulation. We created the internet, the web, because of the divine holy matrix. Because we are connected in a divine holy matrix. This is real, this is true, this is powerful. And we have crystals inside of us that are being awakened and that connect us. And we, instead of working with our divine connections. We have connections, we have connections here. It's like a diamond that's telepathic, but interconnects us to the divine holy matrix and to the earth and to the cosmos, and it's supersonically beyond powerful, who we are, the source of who we are. That is beyond more powerful than anything. The internet is an assimilation of the divine holy matrix. And that's why we created it. Because we knew what it was. Because we work in a divine holy matrix. The grid, just like the trees. The trees have so, I get the chills. I, I have to go down and be with the trees almost every day. I'm like, trees, I love you. Because the trees are communicating. The trees are communicating with us even more so than ever. Because the trees, well, science just found that out. But the trees, communicate all together in this beautiful, like, network. They all communicate together, oh my goddess, like an avatar. That's what the internet is. And that's what we've created outside of ourselves. However, when the internet goes up, that means that the divine holy matrix is up and ready to go. Otherwise, the internet wouldn't even be up. 
It wouldn't exist. It would be back when what, what, what? I don't know, in the 50s? I don't know when the internet came out. <laughs> I don't know what, what it got it's, it's come in my lifetime, yeah. 90s, before that, before that. So it's up, and it's ready because of that. What Guy told me a long time ago about the frequency is this. Whatever, whatever frequency exists, cancer, war, doesn't matter what frequency it is. There is a counter frequency that creates the harmonic resonancy balance, always. Because, I'm gonna do my best because this is not something that's like, um, it's in this, this understanding. This can't exist. It literally can't exist if this doesn't exist here. It's an impossibility. I just can't. So the harmonic resonancy, the harmonic balance always exists. It's just we haven't found it. Our hasn't occurred to us, but it's always there. So whatever is on this planet, no matter what it is, there's a harmonic resonancy balance to bring the healing, to bring complete peace. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter because that's how the whole system is set up. The crystals, I feel, have manifested from here, from the vortex, to assist us and to help us to remember, regardless if you get a crystal or not, if you see one. We're living on a huge crystal right here. I can guarantee you, these crystals coming up, these crystals coming up, my one friend said, did you? Did, did you dig? I mean, did you, like, no, 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 they're just, they're all here. No, this is, what, this is what Sedona is. This is the red rock and this is all the crystals through this whole entire place. But they're vibrating now. They're vibrating more and they're ready for you to, to know this, to awake line the crystalline, the grid to the source. So I wanted to experience the most prevalent, important things of this time for you. Um, I've had many experiences uh, with, with the beans, and one of them was Mother Mary. I just have to talk to you about her. I was not going to share about her. However, as, <laughs> as I was sitting here with uh, Kimberly, Kimberly, amazing, a healer who has a healing center, I'll share more about that. Um, she's, she's really been strong, and she's coming in like different uh, names as well, um, but Mother Mary, because some people um, don't connect with her because her name's Mother Mary, and because she has an association with a certain establishment, sometimes people are a little turned off by her, so she's called by many different names, the mother, and uh, the Madonna, and she is very prevalent these days. And she came in today when I was meditating, and she just she came in when we were sitting here. <laughs> That's why the tears were coming. And Mother Mary uh, actually showed up at Cathedral Rock Vortex. She um, she appeared to me and another uh, person on Christmas Eve of uh, twelve twelve, and brought the rosary and for many, many, many months. So we are working with these Ascended Masters and, and the Beans. We are working and, and it's your time. It's, your, it's, it's just your time. I mean, I'm, re I'm receiving calls and emails and like, I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> and what should I do? And just be guided. And I want to say to the star seeds, and I want to say to your blue rays, it's, it's time. It's time for you to share. It's time for you to be prompted to do what you came here to do. We're feeling a lot of urgency. There's a, I give the ascension symptoms. And there's a lot of urgency 
as to be sharing right now. There's a lot of ascension symptoms. I could share some of those ascension symptoms, the ascension updates that we're having right now. And this is a rare opportunity for you. The um, Thank you.